Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome back to another video. So today what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at Texas Precision Optics LS 4x40 Prism Scope. So let's just stop talking let's get right into the video. And welcome back. So yes, we are going to talk about the Texas Precision Optics LS 4x40 Prism Scope. But before we get into that, if you're liking this kind of content and you're liking these videos, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. Although it's pretty simple. I do a new video every week. Comes out on Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. You can do it. You can watch the video while you're enjoying your morning cup of coffee on Saturday. And it comes out like clockwork. I never fail. I never miss one. So there'll be a new video every week. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the LS 4x40 Prism Scope. All right. So as you're probably figuring out, I'm becoming quite a fan of these Texas Precision Optics Scopes. Uh, every scope I've ever gotten from them has functioned absolutely perfectly. Uh, hell, this year I was using one when I uh, took my deer this year during deer season. Very, very happy with the performance of the scope. So when... Uh, Texas Precision asked me if I wanted to try out the new 4 power uh, by 40 millimeter prism scope. I said absolutely, send it over. So they sent me one and we're going to take a look at it today. The box is, is very well made, it's very sturdy. Uh, of course you get instructions with it just like you always do. As always you get batteries for the illuminated reticle just like you always do. You get your, uh, your cleaning cloth and, and pretty much everything you need in the box and of course the scope itself now the difference I noticed with this scope is you don't get flip open covers on this scope uh, these covers are screw-ons uh, doesn't matter to me one way or another really but these co these covers are screw-on style covers now this is a prism scope I have not reviewed a prism scope from them and why would you go with a prism scope well, it's durability. Prism scopes are known for being exceedingly durable, which is why guys like to have them. Uh, they can take a hell of a beating and they can still keep coming back for more abuse. Uh, this one is, should be no different. Again, this is constructed out of one piece aircraft grade aluminum, just like all TPO scopes are. Uh, it's 100% nitrogen filled. It's half click MOA for adjustments. Uh, this particular scope, you can get it with two reticle configurations. You can either get the horseshoe with a dot or you can get the chevron. This one happens to be the chevron because that's what I prefer. I like the chevron. I always have that, that point you get in the middle seems very, very precise in most cases and that's what I went with on this one. Uh, this one also has a, an illuminated reticle just like all the rest of them. It's red, green, and blue illumination. Uh, going from front to back, the only real adjustments you have are your elevation, your windage, your illuminated reticle, and your focusing eyepiece. Very, very simple, very, very down to earth to the point, just solid, rugged reliability. Now the neat thing about this is, is this is already locked into the mount. So when you mount this, you don't have to, you shouldn't have to make any crosshair leveling adjustments or anything like that. You lock it down under your rail, Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. Two 10 mil, or a 10 millimeter wrench with two 10 millimeter nuts on here to lock it onto your rail, and that's the end of the story. So this scope is a fixed four power. It's got a 40 millimeter objective lens on it. At 100 yards, it should have a field of view of about 30 feet. And it's got an eye relief of about three and a half inches. So just some general specifications. Uh, the scope itself is just over seven inch, or just under seven inches long, weighs about 19 and a half ounces. Uh, like I said earlier, the clicks are half inch MOA clicks and you've got about 40 MOA worth of adjustment from optical center on this thing. It's got a 40 millimeter objective lens. Uh, the scope is locked into the rail, so you should have, there's no rings or anything like that. It's all built into the scope. Just lock it down and away you go. Uh, it is shockproof, it is waterproof, it is fog proof, and it, it's just a very well built, very solid scope. Uh, once again, as always, it's got the adjustable eyepiece on here. And all of the lenses are fully multi-coated lenses. 
This should be a very durable, very simple, very easy scope to operate. So what I'm going to do with this scope is I'm actually going to mount this onto this, uh, this rifle right here. Uh, that's my basic 16 inch M4 battle rifle. I did a video on that not too long ago. We're just going to take the top rail uh, carry handle off. We're going to add this to it. Now, the neat thing about this is it does have the additional rail on the top. So if you wanted to mount a, a, flat, a, a fast reflex sight or a red dot sight on top of this, uh, you could certainly do that. That would give you more functionality and more usability of it for close quarter combat situations and things of that effect. And you also have the added benefit of right underneath it, then you've got a four power optic with a chevron sight. Now, one thing I did notice about this, and I'll show you this when I uh, do the video on the reticle. Uh, when you illuminate the reticle, the only thing that really illuminates is the chevron itself. It doesn't illuminate anything else. So it keeps the busyness of the reticle very, very simple and very, very clean. Uh, so that that is something I really like. The one, the very first scope that I did from Texas Precision Optics was a VT one to five. And the one thing I really liked about it is when you illuminated the reticle, it only illuminated the red dot in the middle. This one only illuminates the chevron in the middle. So let's go ahead and take some video of what the reticle looks like, and then let's throw it on a rifle, and then let's take it to the range and let's shoot it. So there you got a shot of the roof across the street that's about 100 yards away and a picture of the reticle. Uh, the four, five, and six in the reticle does annotate uh, bullet drop compensation for 5.56. I got that right from Texas Precision Optics. That's a very clean, very clear, and just not a very busy reticle at all. I'm very, very happy with how straightforward and simple that reticle is. Uh, it just really is a very clear, sharp picture. If I go ahead and turn the turn the illumination on, you can see it just illuminates the, uh, the chevron itself. It doesn't illuminate the whole reticle, which I really, really like. All right, so really the next step is to go ahead and mount this thing to a rifle and take it to the range and try it out. So let's just do exactly that. Let's get it mounted up and let's see how it functions. All right, so we are back at the Red River Marksmanship Center. Let's go, uh, let's go down to the indoor rifle range and let's try this scope and see how this scope pans out. Uh, hopefully I can get it zeroed in and we can take a few shots. We'll test some accuracy and we'll see how I like it.
All right, so we're back from the range after shooting this platform. Obviously, I've uh, got my Palmetto 16-inch M4 rifle here, and on top I have the Sniper LS 4x40 from Texas Precision Optics. How do I like the scope? Just like every other product I have tested on this channel from Texas Precision Optics, this one is no different. I'm really, really happy with it. In fact, this one is probably one of the better platforms I've, or one of the better optics I've tested from them. I'm really liking everything about it. The glass is pristinely clear. These multi-coated lenses are super, super clear. I'm really liking the Chevron reticle. It's not busy. When you do use the illuminator, it only illuminates the Chevron and the little hash mark below it. Very, very simple. It's not busy at all. It does have a bullet drop compensator in it. Unfortunately, I didn't go to a range today that had more than 100 yards because it's 10 degrees outside and I really didn't feel like going to an outdoor range. I love the fact that they put a pick rail on top so I can add a fast reflex sight. It is a straight four power scope. I can see this being absolutely perfect for a short range hunting situation or even a home defense situation. Whatever you think you might need an optic for, this is simple, no fuss, no muss, meat and potatoes. Shock proof, waterproof, fog proof. There should be no problems being able to use this in a multitude of situations. Accuracy was very, very good. If I really knuckled down and really concentrated hard, the best group I got was about an inch and a quarter. But this isn't a precision scope, and it's not supposed to be a precision scope. I was not shooting match ammunition. I was shooting standard ammunition, full metal jacket ammo, and it just it did exactly what it did. And like I said, if I really focused on it and I really concentrated, I could get about an inch and a quarter. Very, very happy with it, and it's not a precision long-range scope. That's not its intention. If you get minute a man out of these things, that's really what they're supposed to be for. This thing is designed for durability, to give you a little bit of extra distance off your iron sights and give you an optic when the, when the situation arises where you might need one. All said and done, I've only got one complaint about the scope, and I really don't even need to complain about that, but I'm going to because nobody's perfect. Really not a fan of these screw-on scope covers. I would really like to see, at least on the front, a flip cover. I get it on the back. We don't have enough real estate back here to put a flip cover in the rear, but I would really like to see a flip cover on the front. They put flip covers on all the rest of their scopes. Let's get rid of this business, and let's put a flip cover at least on the front, because these threaded on caps, I'm really not down with that. Other than that, if I have to make a gripe, that's what I'm going to gripe about. The scope is absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very happy with it. I have no problem saying go to the website and buy one of these. And I can say that because Texas Precision is not paying me to do these videos. They did send me this scope for free, full disclosure, but they aren't paying me. I do not have an associate's link. I don't make any money on commission on these guys. I'm just telling you what I feel about the product, and I like this product. With that, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. As always, if you're liking what you see here and you like the Jack of All Trades channel, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. But that's really kind of a moot point because every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock, there's a new video on the Jack of All Trades channel without fail. So just be aware of that. And hit me with those comments. I really like interacting with my subscribers and my viewers through the comments. And if you tell me in the comments that you're a new subscriber, I'll try really hard to get you a shout out on one of my future videos. With that, this is Ed from Jack of All Trades. As always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video.